My name is David Benningson. I'm the founder and CEO of a company called Signal AI. Uh, we're 180 people. We have offices in London, New York, and Hong Kong. Uh, and the business essentially aggregates the world's information, news media, social data, uh, regulatory information, and we apply machine learning to that data to help organizations extract insights from that information and get ahead of risks and threats to their business. We've raised about $50 million of venture capital funding. Um, we have about 600 customers that we serve globally, including some of the world's biggest organizations like Google and Bank of America and members of the G7 government bodies, etc. So I uh, have been working with Simon for over eight years now, the business is about eight years old. And Simon was right there, right at the beginning of the business. And he really became a, a kind of quite fundamental coach and mentor for me, helping me grow from someone with very, very little experience and knowledge and know-how of how to build and grow and scale a company into, into a much larger business as it stands today. So he's been right there alongside me, almost as a kind of, I can kind of describe him as a secret weapon, helping counsel me and understand kind of the nuances and emotional intelligence that is required to to operate effectively and get people to work together in a in a in a collaborative uh, and effective dynamic. Even yesterday, we were uh, uh, on a call together with myself, my chief product officer, uh, 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 one of the individuals who leads our commercial efforts, brainstorming a kind of new market initiative, a new market strategy. And what Simon is particularly good at is kind of facilitating those sorts of conversations. And then he has a kind of innate skill set and being able to kind of bring those together and synthesize that information into something that, you know, is really understandable and consumable. If you want to be really successful and effective at business, uh, you better be really, really good at emotional intelligence and engaging with people and uh, being able to uh, create an environment for individuals to work together collaboratively. And that's what a coach like Simon provides. Uh, and so it is, a, it is an absolutely obvious uh, investment if you want to perfect, uh, you know, the, the, the core, one of the most core capabilities of, of being a great business leader. Simon has recently introduced this uh, capability into our business of being able to assess uh, leadership uh, capabilities and strengths in a much more quantitative fashion. It takes qualitative concepts and enables uh, uh, the group to be able to score one another against those qualitative dimensions. And I think that's gonna enable uh, myself and my leadership team to be much more measurable in looking at performance uh, and understanding where strengths and weaknesses exist. Being a CEO and a founder of a company is, is quite a lonely experience because you, you, you have a leadership team, but to be honest, there is a, there is a divide and a disconnect between you and them. And ultimately you're presenting a face of confidence, uh, uh, to both that leadership team as well as to your board and to your investors. So the relationship with the coach is actually almost entirely unique, uh, and, and exceptionally personal because, uh, it's one that you can trust entirely. You can say and share things in absolute confidence and you know that person is there to give you objective constructive advice simon has helped uh enable me personally to see uh that life is about balance and that life is about many different aspects not just business and i think that's ultimately led to me understanding and having a much better uh, and balanced life